Arduino microcontrollers are fast becoming one of the most popular microcontrollers used in robotics today. There are many differences between the microcontrollers, not only in size, shape, and weight, but also in features, functionality, and processing capability. In this segment, I'll be explaining to you the differences between these microcontrollers. There are many features that are common to all Arduino microcontrollers, the first being that they're based around 18 mega AVR series chips from Atmel, which feature both analog and digital inputs. The software, which is also called Arduino, written by the manufacturer in C, is open source, so users can not only program it in C or Arduino, but can program the microcontrollers in a variety of other programming languages. This is very beneficial if you'd like to actually develop a microcontroller or the language itself. Simply choose the right microcontroller from the drop-down menu, and you're good to go. The smallest Arduino product is the Arduino Mini Lite, which is a 24-pin microcontroller without any connectors soldered. The unit features 8 analog pins and 13 digital pins, and the module is based around the 18 Mega 168 processor. The next step up from that is the Arduino Mini, which includes downside connectors. The Arduino Pro Mini 8 MHz and 16 MHz modules are also breadboard mountable, and are a bit longer than the Arduino Mini. The Pro Mini 8 MHz operates at 3.3 volts, while the 16 MHz module operates at 5 volts. Both feature 6 analog I.O. and 14 digital I.O. The manufacturer has marked the back of the PCB to indicate which is which. The last breadboard mountable Arduino is the Arduino Nano. This microcontroller distinguishes itself from the others by having a USB to serial chip and connector on board. The Nano has 8 analog pins and 14 digital pins. Next is the Arduino LilyPad. The LilyPad stands out from all other microcontrollers because of its round purple PCB. The LilyPad was originally intended to be sewn into clothing, though enthusiasts have found many other applications for it. If you're cautious, the LilyPad can also be washed along with the clothing. The LilyPad requires as little as 2.7 volts to work. The next Arduino boards have the classic Arduino board shape and can't be mounted on breadboards. The smallest in this line is the Arduino Pro. Some of the advantages to this board are its operating voltage range, which is 3.3 to 12 volts, its smaller footprint, and lighter weight. The Pro doesn't come with pin headers, and although it's smaller than other Arduino boards, it's still compatible with Arduino shields. Next is the most popular of the Arduino microcontrollers, the DSMLA, and the more recent variation, the Duo Milanove. These boards come pre-assembled and ready to use. The Duo Milanove is based around the ATmega328 chip, while the DSMLA is based around the ATmega128. The DSMLA is now discontinued. Let's take a closer look at the Duo Milanove. On one side of the board, there are 14 digital input-output pins, as well as a ground pin and a reference pin, which acts as a voltage reference for the analog pin. Pin 0 doubles as serial input, pin 1 doubles for serial output. On the other side of the board, you'll find 6 analog pins, as well as a voltage input pin, 2 ground pins, and a reset pin. The board also has both a 3.3 volt and 5 volt output pins. You can power the board any of three ways, directly by the USB port, using the power connector, or using the V-in and ground pins. The 18 mega chip is removable from the board, and this is especially useful if you fry the processor or need to replace it. Or you can use the board alone by removing the chip as a USB to serial interface. Next on the list is the Arduino Bluetooth. The layout of the board is identical to that of the Duo Milanove, but one, with one big difference. The Arduino Bluetooth board replaces the USB plug with a Bluetooth module, meaning that you can program it and have to program it remotely. Take note that the board has different power requirements than the Duo Milanove and doesn't have a 3.3 volt output pin. The most recent addition to the Arduino lineup is the Arduino Mega. This board is physically larger than all the other Arduino boards and offers significantly more digital and analog pins. The Mega uses a different processor, allowing greater program size and more. You can power the Mega the same way as the Duo Milanove, directly via the USB port, the power connector, or via the VIN and ground pins. Arduino is open source, meaning you can actually download the schematics to each of these boards online, modify them, and reproduce your own PCBs as you wish. For more information about Arduino, its accessories, and its variations, visit www.robotshop.com, keyword Arduino. Thanks for watching Robotshop TV. See you next time.